Jared. Blue Team's first nominee and why? Mark. He burnt that first pizza and he never recovered. Second nominee, Jared, and why? Our second nominee is... Kevin. He doesn't have the same skill set a lot of us have. We need to go over things once, twice, three times. Mark, Kevin, step forward. I'm just not sure that either of you are going to grow. Maybe I should just make the blue team lighter. And both of you go home. Not at all, Chef. I'm ready to be here, and I'm ready to show you that I'm here for you. It's a big thing for me to be here, and it's just very overwhelming, Chef. Young man, it's a big thing for everybody to be here. Yes, Chef. Kevin. How can you be so lost so early on in the service? It was a little overwhelming getting used to the environment, but I definitely have the will and determination. I'm going to study. I'm going to practice. Or I'm going to come back bigger, better, faster, and stronger. My decision is... Back in line. Yes, sir. Mark, give me your jacket. It's time to leave Hell's Kitchen. <sighs> Sorry, chef. I wish I could have done better for you. So do I. Good night. I didn't expect this at all. I came in thinking that I was going to be on top, and here I am, first to be kicked out. Every part of me wishes I could come back tomorrow, you know? It's hard. Ladies, I told you earlier, I want three nominees tonight that your team is better without. Ashley, Red Team's first nominee, and why? Uh, the Red Team's first nominee is Nice. We feel like she was really weak on the fish, and she wasn't really saying anything or doing much of anything to, to make it better. Second nominee, why? Ariel, she knew that the snapper was wrong, and she sent it up to you anyway. Third nominee, please. Chef, our third nominee is Sharkina. Why? She burned the Arctic char several times. OK. Ariel, Mies, Shakina, step forward, please. Ariel, why do you think you should stay in Hell's Kitchen? Because I'm a strong cook. At the end of the day, it was in my station. I shouldn't have touched her fucking fish. I should have let her bring the raw fish up and let her take the heat for bringing the raw fish up. Shakina, why do you think you should stay in Hell's Kitchen? I have heart and I have passion. I asked for help, true enough. I wasn't 100% comfortable, and I let my team know that. Mies, why do you deserve to stay in Hell's Kitchen? I deserve to be here because I am a strong chef. I'm a strong leader. When Sir Kenneth asked me about the chart, I was trying to explain it to her, but not do it for her, because she is a chef. And up until the snapper, I got everything out, cooked well, on time. In the end, I didn't bring up that raw fish. My decision is... Ariel, get back in line. Chef. Thank you, Chef. The person leaving Hell's Kitchen is... Shakina. Take off your jacket and leave Hell's Kitchen. When we get stuck in the weeds, we need to bounce back. You got stuck and you didn't come back. Good night. Good night. Tonight, I just hit a bump in the road and I never bounced back from it and I completely lost focus. But at the same time, I learned more about myself 
I might be small town, but I can get down. Be looking for me. Y'all will hear about me again. What an embarrassment. Ladies, you all took a huge step backwards tonight. Have you reached a decision? Yes, Chef. Ariel, first nominee and why? Chef, our first nominee tonight is Mies. We can't really get over the fact that she threw product away that was good. Second nominee and why? <sighs> um... Ariel, who's the weakest chef? Fuck me. Unbelievable. Chef, our second nominee is Vanessa. She consistently is not being a team player for us. She's not communicating. She's not speaking up. Vanessa, Meese, step forward. Meese, are you the weakest chef in the red team? I am absolutely not the weakest chef here. I believe that Vanessa is the weakest chef. I'm definitely stronger than Meese. I don't throw multiple expensive products in the trash. Meese, why do you deserve, young lady, to stay in Hell's Kitchen? I deserve to be here. My heart's in it. I don't know what went through my mind to make me make such a big mistake, and I will never do that again. Vanessa, why do you think you should stay in Hell's Kitchen? I deserve to stay in Hell's Kitchen because I deserve to run DLT. This has been my dream forever. I want to win, and I know I can win. My decision is... Get back in line. Vanessa, your time is done. Yes, sir. I don't think you believe in yourself enough. And after three services, I don't believe in you. You are not ready, young lady. Give me your jacket, please. Thank you, Chef, for the opportunity. I really appreciate it. Thank you. And I'm sorry for disappointing you. Thank Good you. Night. Good night. Bye, everybody. I'm definitely disappointed that Chef Ramsey wasn't able to see the real me in this competition. This opportunity meant everything to me. I wanted to do it for my mom because she's my biggest fan. I was supposed to win. I was supposed to win. I told her I was going to win. Amanda, first nominee and why? Our first nomination is Jackie. Her attitude has been less than desirable, and she doesn't take accountability for the mistakes that she does make. Second nominee and why? Our second nominee is Mies Chef. She's not talking during service, Chef. Jackie Mies, step forward. Mies, what is it with you in service that you just dwarf into this silence? I don't know, Chef. You don't know? I think I should stay in Hell's Kitchen because I can do this, and I can cook, and I can learn better communication skills, and I have the heart in this. I do. Jackie, tell me why you think you should stay in Hell's Kitchen. Because I have the passion. I am a team player. I believe I could be a very good leader. You seem to be an outsider. It's a personal thing, Chef. I mean, in service, I'm extremely focused. And during the day, you're not? I mean, I, you know, I joke around during the day. I mean, that's just my personality. Like I said, it's a personality thing. Amanda, you're shaking your head. What does that mean? I think Jackie is a distraction, and I think that when she gets disrespectful towards authority, it makes our entire team look bad. Tough call. The person leaving Hell's Kitchen is... Meese. Take off a jacket. You are just not ready, young lady. Thank you. Good night. I've never been through anything this hard in my life. <laughs> I was so disappointed in myself. I was fighting to make a better life for my family, and I blew it. 
the scallops! Right here, chef. Right here, chef. Hey, all of you. Fucking hell. Just touch them. Come on, just touch them. Just touch that. Touch it. Look at it, look. Ah! I've just done them with you. And they're all fucking overcooked, raw. This is not normal. All of you, come here. Get in there. Yes, Chef. Oh. Move, Chef. Oh, Jesus Christ. Not tonight. Of all fucking nights, not tonight. Get over there. Get over there. What in the fuck is going on here? What is going on? You. I am fucking up, Do chef. me a big favour. Yes, Chef. Yeah? Get your apron off, get packed, and fuck off out. First, get out. Get out. Yes, Chef. Who's next? Get your shit together and salvage what's left. Yes, For all of you, fucking wake up! Now! Eddie, Blue Team's first nominee and why? Chef, our first nominee tonight is Joe from the gates. Garnish was a little uh, hectic. Second nominee, Eddie, and why? Our second nominee, Chef, is Alan. Just had a rough time on apps. A few things came back. Alan and Joe step forward. Joe, why do you deserve to stay in Hell's Kitchen? Based on this service alone, I definitely deserve to be up here. But I'm in no way, shape, or form done, Chef. I'm constantly learning and growing, but uh, I know where my weaknesses are, and um, I'm going to work on them, Chef. I'm not done yet. Alan, the risotto looked like a toilet swimming with fucking floating rice. I did have issues with the risotto that I tried to rectify before I handed them to you. I know I can rebound from this. You know, this is what I do. I'm very passionate. I'm good at what I'm doing. I've had good services where I've been strong. You know, I felt like I had a voice tonight. Your time is done, Alan. Give me your jacket. I'm not feeling it. I don't get it. And there is no second gear. Yes, Thank sir. you. Good night. Chef Ramsay definitely made a mistake tonight. I had a couple missteps in the kitchen, but at the end of the day, blue team, they lost a strong cook. You know, hey, enjoy that blue team, because I can see a lot of losses coming your way. Ariel, red team's first nominee, and why, please? Chef, my first nominee is Jackie. She has a bit of an ego and an attitude in the kitchen, and there's no room for that during service. Second nominee, and why? My second nominee tonight is Kristen, Chef. Kristen? Yes, Chef, Kristen. When she came back into the kitchen to help, there was a problem with the amount of french fries that went up, and there was an excuse about that. OK. Gerard, blue team's first nominee, and why? First nomination, Chef, is Eddie. Eddie failed on garnish today. In high pressure situations, he seems to crumble. Second nominee and why? Second nomination is Joe. Joe, he's a sloppy mess, and he doesn't know what's going on in the kitchen. It's recipe for disaster, chef. Jackie, Kristen, Joe, and Eddie, step forward, please. Eddie, why should you stay in Hell's Kitchen? I have yet to show you everything I got. You know, there's three methods you could do. Lead, follow, or get the hell out of the way. I haven't gotten out of the way. Now, obviously, I have to stand up and lead. Joe, why do you think you should stay in Hell's Kitchen? I have much more to prove here, Chef. Not just to you or my team, but to myself, to see if I am as good as I think I am. <sighs> Jackie, are you taking this competition serious? Yes, I am, Chef. I'm a natural leader. I have a strong voice. I have confidence. I stay focused. That's why I believe I should stay. Kristen. Yes, Chef. Back in line. Thank you, Chef. This is hard. Joe. Back in line. Yes, Chef. 
the person leaving Hell's Kitchen is. Eddie, take off your jacket. Your time is done, young man. Six services in. I can't wait any longer. Not a problem, Chef. Thank, Thank you. you very much. I was here for a reason, and that reason was the win. I guess I tried too much to be a team player and help too many people besides myself. Just watch what happens to that blue team. They're going to crumble. I guarantee you, a member of that red team is the one who takes everything home. Story of my life. Nice guys finish last. Kristen. Yes, Chef. Red team's first nominee, and why? Tassin, for his lack of control with the chicken dish tonight. Second nominee. Second nominee is Danny, Chef. We just had too many scallops going down. Joe. Yes, Chef. Blue team's first nominee, and why? Chad, because of his troubles on the fish station tonight. Blue team's second nominee, and why? Uh, our second nominee is, uh, um, our second nominee is, uh, Jared, uh, sending up raw chicken to the uh, bride and groom's table uh, was unacceptable. All four of you, step forward. Danny, Hassan, Chad, Jared. Hassan, why should you stay in Hell's Kitchen? Chef, this competition means everything to me. I mean, I had a rough night, but I don't think that the red team would be better without me. And I thoroughly believe I'm a better chef than Danny. He's dreaming if he thinks he's better than me. I felt like I'm better than anyone else on my team, Chef. I've been completely selfless in this competition. If anything, I've been doing what I can to make sure that every single team member gets across the line. So if I need to step up, I will step up, Chef. I won't step aside. Chat, why should you stay in Hell's Kitchen? I bring a level of professionalism, organization, and a skill set to the kitchen that I don't think would be there without me. Professionalism, skill set, psst, you need to cook as well. Yes, yeah, Chef. Going forward, now I'm definitely going to focus more on just the basics. Jared. Chef, I'm a strong cook. I'm a strong leader. I take this more serious than anyone else in this whole competition, Chef. It's a tough one tonight. My decision is... Hassan. Give me your jacket. Yes, Chef. Time is done. Tonight was your worst performance in this competition. It's been nothing but a pleasure, Chef. I really genuinely appreciate it. I was the best person on the red team, and I'm a team player, and I'm a hard worker. The future for the red team right now, they're going to fall apart again. They're going to hate each other. They're going to scream at each other. And you know what? I hope they do. I don't really care. I'm cheering for the blue team now. Uh, red team, well done. Um, finally, if the blue team just talked and helped each other, you would have had as good a service as the red team. Frank, blue team's first nominee, and why? Chef, our first nominee is uh, Amanda. We picked her today because of folding under pressure. The uh, meat station was a complete disaster tonight, Chef. Second nominee, and why? Chef, our second nominee is Jared. We picked Jared today because of the ongoing miscommunication, and it was brought to his attention more than once, and it did not improve. OK, Amanda, Jared, step forward, please. Amanda. Yes, Chef. A rough night for you tonight. Yes, Chef. Tonight was not my best night, but I cook my ass off and I cook with my heart, my soul. This is everything to me. I came into this competition to give myself a better life as well as my kids. And all I think about every single day is giving my kids the, the life that they deserve. Jared, why do you think you should stay in Hell's Kitchen? Chef, I deserve to be here because I'm a strong leader. I'm one of the only people on the team that tries to communicate during prep time, during challenges, during service. I'm here to just be the best chef I can. This is tough. My decision is... Chad. 
wish you had. Step forward. Give me your jacket, Chad. Yes, sir. Young man, you have lost your confidence. And Chad, I'm hoping that you can find it in the red team. Get over there. Yes, sir. Danny, give Chad your seat. Because you are going to the blue team. And yes, Chef. Chad, I'm giving you your very last chance in a new environment because you did start this competition strong, but your time, young man, is running out quickly. Get it together. Yes, Chef. Gerard, Manda, back in line. Now, get out of here. Red team, have you reached a consensus? Yes, yes, chef. yes, Chef. Good. Jackie, Red team's first nominee and why? My first nominee is Ariel. The fish station completely collapsed. The scallops, everything was just bad. Uh, Red team's second nominee and why? Um, they, they voted for me. They voted for you? Yes. Why? I, I really don't know. I believe it should have been Ashley. Because if I was on either one of those stations, I would have ran it way better. We chose Jackie Chef because of her lack of progress. It doesn't help us to have to be creative for her. We have to carry her most of the way, Chef. That's not true, Chef. What a mess. Jackie, Ariel, step forward. Ariel, let's be honest, your worst performance. Chef. Why do you think you should stay in Hell's Kitchen? Chef, I think I should stay in Hell's Kitchen because I'm passionate, I'm intuitive, I'm strong, I'm decisive, and I'm a leader. I don't think one service should dictate me leaving Hell's Kitchen. You struggled. Big time. Very disappointing. All right, Chef. Very. Jackie. Yes, Chef. Why do you deserve to stay in Hell's Kitchen? I could cook a scallop, I could sear a steak. I'm a natural born leader. I mean, I know I could run BLT. I shouldn't even be up here, Chef. It was meat and fish that died today. The person leaving Hell's Kitchen is... Joe. Give me your jacket. Joe, unfortunately, you are not ready to be the next head chef at BLT. Service after service after service, I'm not seeing any change. Yes, Chef. Thank you. Thank you for the opportunity, Chef. It was a pleasure. Hell's Kitchen was much more grueling than I could have ever imagined. It's easy to be an armchair quarterback when you're sitting at home watching it going, yeah, I can make a risotto. It's a much different story when you're in a line of fire with Chef Ramsay up your rear end. If, if some butts were candies and nuts, we'd all have a Merry Christmas. And uh, I'm the one out here right now, so I'm the one that's got to take it on the chin. What in the hell happened? Kristen. Right from the first ticket, Jackie wasn't up on chicken. Her timings and communications were off. It was just like a downward spiral. And our execution was at a five. It should have been at a 12. Who's responsible for that? That was Chad, Chef. Chad, what happened? I didn't execute properly. But, you know, Ariel definitely didn't help the situation. Blue team, an explanation on what happened, please. Uh, Manda. Chicken went down and took the entire kitchen with it. I was in the weeds, and I needed support. I was told that I have to specifically ask for help. Chef, I said that because Jared is not man enough to say that he needs help with something. If he can't speak up and say that he needs help, then that's his problem, because he waited two hours later after dinner served, after he got kicked out for sending out raw chicken, to then tell me he needed help. Amanda, in your mind, which chef should leave the blue kitchen tonight and go home? 
Frank. Frank, because it's personal tonight, Jeff. No, it's not personal it's at personal all. personal tonight, good. Once Frank's hands are wiped clean of something, that's it. But when you accept responsibility of something, you own that now. I don't. We, we're all... If you... I am talking. If you cannot handle that responsibility, then you say, Frank, I can't do it. Can you get somebody else? That's called communication. That's what that's called. Jared, one person, in your mind, who should leave the blue team? Frank Chef. Danny. Frank Chef. Frank. Amanda. Kristen, the one person that you feel should leave the red team. Chad Chef. Ashley. Chad. Ariel. Chad Chef. Jackie. Chad Chef. Chad. Ariel. The person leaving Hell's Kitchen is... Chad, I gave you one more chance and you did not step up and take it. Give me a jacket. Yes, sir. It's time to leave Hell's Kitchen. I've run out of patience and I think you are lacking confidence beyond belief. Thank you. Yes, Chef. Thank you. I had no idea Hell's Kitchen would be this difficult. What pisses me off is just to see some of the people in there move forward that I know shouldn't move forward. The only good thing about leaving Hell's Kitchen is I'm done with the red team. I don't have to listen to the bickering. Red team, have you reached a decision? Yes, yes chef. chef. Ariel, red team's first nominee and why? Chef, tonight our first nominee was Ashley. Ashley? Yes. Obviously a difficult decision, but we all agreed that she could have communicated a little bit more. Second nominee. Chef. Um... Name, one word. Jackie. Why? I think there was too much focus on, like, we have to win, we have to win, when really the focus still should be, we have to rush, but you also have to produce a good product. OK, Ashley, Jackie, step forward, please. Ashley. Yes, Chef. What happened? I just got inside my own head, but it will never happen again, ever. So what makes you a better chef than Jackie? I can run a restaurant. I run a restaurant back home. That's I know the business for side. Dads. Yes, for my dad's. Having parents that own restaurants doesn't necessarily make you qualify to be a success in this industry. This is what I've wanted to do since as long as I can remember and I would have done it with or without them, 100%. I know that. I didn't feel that tonight. Jackie. Yes, Chef. What happened with the raw fish? Um, at that point, I had said it still needs more time, and Ashley had said, they're done, send them out. I knew they were not done. So why bring them to me? I, I, I made a mistake, Chef. Are you not confident in yourself? I, I am confident, Chef, but... I was trusting Ashley, and I shouldn't have done that. This is tough. My decision is... Ashley. Back in line. Young lady, come here, please. Uh, yeah, Chef. Let me tell you something. Yes, you've shown so much improvement, but you are not ready to become the next head chef at BLT. Thank you, Chef. I appreciate everything. Thank you. I really Good do. luck. Thank you. Bye, guys. Bye, Jackie. Bye. I'm standing here not on my cooking ability at all, but on how I get mad. They feel like I'm not professional. And maybe they're just intimidating. I mean, maybe they thought I was going to kill them all. I don't fucking know. Amanda, Blue Team's first nominee and why? Our first nominee is Jared. Jared. Meat Station had a hard time bouncing back, and it set the tone for the rest of the night. Second nominee and why? Second nominee is Frank. Same reason. He had a hard time bouncing back, and his communication shut down. Jared. 
Frank, step forward, please. Yes, Chef. Jared. Yes, Chef. Why should you stay in Hell's Kitchen? I don't feel that I'm the weakest member of the blue team at all. I feel like I'm one of the stronger ones, and tonight I was the only one talking. And who doesn't talk? Amanda and Danny don't talk. Frank. Yes, Chef. Why should you stay in Hell's Kitchen? Chef, I'm a huge team player, and I, and I live off of that. Truthfully, Chef, but dinner service tonight, you know, three snappers are sh sent out that I did not send out. I mean, my name is on that, so, I mean, it's, it's rough. How can you say that you had snappers that you didn't send out? I put them by the pizza oven, and I told Jared, Danny, Amanda to watch it, and they sent it out without, you know, checking it, obviously, because it was raw. Who did you put in charge of your snapper in the oven? Uh, the first one was Amanda. Is that correct, young lady? I checked the tail end, and the tail end looked done. I ran it up to the pass. I should have checked the middle. I don't know why I didn't, but yes. That's one snapper. What about the others? After that, I have no idea, Chef. Jared, did you send raw snapper? Chef, Danny is the one that ran them up to the pass. Danny's in the mix now. No, Chef, I touched no snapper to take to the pass at all tonight. Come on, snapper. I need it right now, right now. Snapper, right now. Snapper. So the snapper walked up by itself. Come on, guys. I mean, no, no, it definitely didn't walk up by itself. But I didn't. I know I didn't take any snapper up at all tonight. Let's get one thing right. None of you performed brilliantly tonight. The person leaving Hell's Kitchen is Frank. Give me your jacket, big boy. Yes, Chef. Thank you. Unfortunately, it turned out to be uh, Frank's last night because of a popularity contest. The blue team never had any drama until the females came aboard, and that's when the ship sunk. And that's exactly why I get fucking female Marines and I send them back wherever the fuck they came from. That's one service I didn't expect. Chefs, have you reached a group decision? Yes, Chef. Manda. First nominee and why? Our first nominee was Danny. She tends to shut down when she gets behind instead of being more vocal and being loud. Second nominee and why? It was me, Jeff. Do you know why? The girls behind me would trust Jared over myself or Danny. OK, I'm going to go with the group consensus. Amanda, Danny, step forward, please. Amanda. Yes, Chef. Why do you think you deserve a black jacket? I have never given up. I keep going. I keep talking. Every single day, I've gotten better and better at something. And I still have so much to give. Danny. Yes, Chef. Second bad service in a row. Why do you think you deserve a black jacket? My performance tonight, it sucked. And it's embarrassing, but I've never given up. I've worked every single day to see what is it I can do to show you that I want to be here. Every day, I know 100% that I fight. I don't know why it's not being seen. This is hard. My decision is? Jared. Get up here. This is not easy. Yes, I recognize how hard you've worked, and I know how much you care. But I want your jacket. Chef. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you, Chef. Put that on. Thank you. Good job. Thank you, Chef. I made it into black jackets. I am fucking stoked. Oh, it's really hard. Amanda, take off your jacket. As a matter of fact, Danny, take off your jacket. My decision is... Amanda. Listen, and listen carefully. You've shown me that you truly care and that cooking is a passion. Absolutely. 
And it's pretty obvious that you miss your family, and I know how tough that is. Unfortunately, they're going to have to wait a little longer, because I still believe in you. Congratulations. Oh, thank you so much, Jeff. Thank Good you job. very much. Danny, you've been on too much of a downward spiral. I'm not feeling it, I'm not getting it, and the amount of times I've tried to get through, I've come to the end of my patience. Understood. Thank you. It's my pleasure, Jeff. Good night. It's shocking to me that I'm leaving right before Black Jack is. I was being vocal. I tried to lead the team, and it just wasn't enough. But I know I can walk anywhere and do any job that, you know, is ahead of me, and my future is very bright. Black Jackets, have you reached a decision? Yes, yes Chef. Kristen, who have you decided should not be in the final four? Jared, Chef. Jared, why? Jared failed pretty heavily on the fish station tonight. And then we all feel that Jared has mentally checked out. Wow. Jared, step forward, please. Jared, you've been on this incredible journey. How much does this competition mean to you? This competition means a lot to me, Chef. I came here with little expectations because I didn't know how well I was going to do. And then when I started to see myself flourish, it gave me something to drive for. I am not giving up. Do you know what? I want to hear from somebody else. Amanda, step forward. Yes, Chef. <clears throat> Tonight wasn't your best performance. This should have been a great night, and the fact that it wasn't makes me so angry. Like, I can't even, I can't even put it into words. This is really hard. The person leaving Hell's Kitchen is Amanda. Take off your jacket, please. Yes, Chef. Let me tell you something yes, and listen carefully. Absolutely. You are a feisty, determined, very passionate uh, young lady. Do not give up. I absolutely will not. I've learned more than I've learned in 30 years of life. I mean, this meant more to me than anything that you'll ever even understand. I can see it. Thank you so yeah. much. Bye -bye. Guys, good luck. Have fun. Do awesome. Thank you. Walking into Hell's Kitchen, I didn't think I was going to make it past the first week. It's not bad, but it's a little bit weird. I'm a little bit weird. <laughs> I was not confident in myself at all. Did you taste that risotto? I, yes. Are you serious? It's like you don't care. Bad things happen. You want to speak to me, you say, Frank! Frank! Do me a favor. Get out. Are you fucking kidding me? But then great things happen, too. That's a very solid four. Brilliant. Good job. Hell yeah, we'll take this chick on our team. <laughs> I've done things while I was here that I would have never been able to do any other time in my life. So awesome. Woo! Yeah, yeah. Hello, my wellies. You can make it in Hell's Kitchen. You can make it absolutely anywhere. Right. Enough with the attitude. And I've grown throughout this competition. Good job. Thank you. I can't wait to go home and show my kids this new and improved mommy. Jack, Dylan, Audrey, mommy is coming home. Get ready. Jared, I know how much you care and how much this competition means to you. Unfortunately, I can't let you continue because you are not as strong as the three ladies standing behind you. Give me your jacket, please. Yes, Chef. You've got a great mind. You've been a great competitor, and the day will come. Thank you, Chef. Stay in it. Yes, Chef. Good Pleasure. Job. Take care. From that first moment I came to Hell's Kitchen, I was confident. You're a poker player. What do you think I'm going to say? Four. Four out of five.
right out of the gate, I show that I'm strong. Jared, great, confident, strong performance. Thank you. But I had my fair share of bumps along the way. The chicken is raw. Jared, get out. One of the best things about being on Hell's Kitchen was becoming friends with Ashley. Blast away. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we had our fight, but Ashley and I were just genuine friends. I'm here for you. Thank you. Yeah, it's been a hell of a journey. Woo! To the blue team win. I may not be the executive chef of BLT State, but I'm leaving here with my head held very high. First of all, you are definitely, without a shadow of doubt, deserving of being the final three, let me tell you that. But the big question tonight is, who deserves to be in the final two? Ariel. Chef. Why do you think you deserve to be in the Hell's Kitchen final? Because I've pushed myself. I've learned a lot about my leadership skills. I have learned to be humble. I've learned to respect my craft here at Hell's Kitchen and would be thrilled to showcase what I've learned in the finale. Ashley. I am focused and I'm driven and I have grown tenfold since I've been here. I have pushed myself to my absolute limits and it would be an honor to be in the finale. It's a dream of mine, so I know that I can do it. Kristen. Chef, I came into this competition with humility, focus, determination, and as I got stronger, I stayed consistent. I raised the bar for myself and for the chefs around me. I want the opportunity to bring that energy to BLT and drive that team to success. Ashley, let me ask you this. Who doesn't belong in the Hell's Kitchen final? I believe that Ariel doesn't belong in the final, Chef. Why? I feel that her personality may clash with a lot of people. She's sometimes disrespectful to leadership, and I feel that that is a hindrance. Ariel. Chef, I think Ashley doesn't belong in the finale because she overthinks a lot of things. She doubts herself sometimes and doesn't have the drive to be a head chef. Kristen. I believe it's Ashley that does not belong in the finale, Chef. Ashley wears her heart on her sleeve, and it can be a sign of weakness. Ashley is a, a huge overthinker, and I find overthinking can spread like a disease trying to lead a team. It's time now to reveal who will be battling it out in the Hell's Kitchen final. The first person advancing to the Hell's Kitchen final is... Kristen, congratulations. Thank you, well Chef. Well done. <laughs> I'm soaring right now. So excited. Now I get to run my brigade in the most badass way possible on Hell's Kitchen. Ashley, Ariel, this is one of the most difficult decisions I've ever had. The person who will be joining Kristen in the final is... Ariel. Fucking crazy! So crazy! Congratulations. Thank you so much, Chef. Ashley, step forward, please. Young lady, don't be upset. Here's why. You were born to cook, and I refuse to take your jacket because there was so little separating you from the finale. It was that tight. Thank you, Chef. Come here. Come on. Don't be upset. Hey. Well done. Thank Head you. up high. Good night. I did not come to Hell's Kitchen to walk through that door. I came to Hell's Kitchen to walk through the big door, the door to my future. Where'd you work? Uh, my family owns a couple of restaurants in Orlando. Wow, mom and dad have got restaurants. Two dads, dad number one, dad number two. This has been a wild journey. No, fuck no. Are you gonna vomit? <laughs> it has been the hardest thing I've ever done. You've checked out, right? You know what I should be doing? Breaking your fucking face right now. Nobody should 
be talked to that way. Right. I would never fucking disrespect somebody like that. But I made it very far. Ashley, congratulations. Thank you, Chef. I'm proud of myself. After working with my dads for eight years, I have done this entire competition completely on my own. Those New York strippers cook perfectly. Thank you, Chef. I have done it with my own talent. The dish of the day belongs to Ashley. Well done. Red team wins. And I learned that I am one tough bitch. Three and a half minutes out. Get it to me quicker, two and a half. Winning Hell's Kitchen would have been my ultimate dream come true. But my dad is probably really happy deep down that I didn't win because he's not going to lose me to BLT steak. Ladies, welcome. Kristen, you are a late bloomer here in Hell's Kitchen, let me tell you. But the fascinating thing about you, once you hit your stride, you are not only good, but you are dominant. Ariel. Chef. Right from the very beginning, let's be honest, you were never shy. Chef. Your creativity and your attention to detail has been second to none. Unfortunately, there can only be one winner. And this has been one of the most difficult decisions I've ever made. Ariel, Kristen, please. Step up to your doors. This is amazing. Finally, this is my moment. I'm definitely going to win this thing, and this is going to change my life. Good luck. Thanks, Chef. You too. After tonight, I definitely think I'm ready for BLT. I'm really happy, and I'm really excited, and I'm really hopeful. Please let my door open. Please let my door open. The chef whose door opens will become the winner of Hell's Kitchen. That comes with a salary of a quarter of a million dollars. Ariel and Kristen, place your hand on top of the handle. On the count of three, you'll turn your handles. One, two, Three. Yes. Thank you, guys. Oh Good job. Well done. Do not be despondent, OK? Come on, head of high. You did great. I'm a little overwhelmed, but this is a turning point in my life and a turning point in my career. I've grown into someone that I'm so proud of. You know, my picture's not in the hallway, but being a finalist has been the best experience ever. Proud of you. So very proud. This opportunity is just going to open the doors for me to have a happy life. Mom, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I cannot tell you how talented you are. It's just really an awesome feeling. I mean, I can't even imagine a quarter of a million dollars. Like, I've never had more than $2,000 in my bank account at one time. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for Hell's Kitchen winner, Ariel. Thank you. I really can't wait to share this with all of my family and friends that have believed in me. This has been an awesome journey. I really have to thank my family, first of all. I couldn't have done this without my family. Um, my fellow contestants, I learned so much from all of you. Chef Ramsey, both of the sous chefs, and they gave me a lot of inspiration. Round of applause, chicken. please, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah! Oh, my God! Right from the very beginning, Ariel let her presence be known. She was always outspoken, but she backed up her confidence with her cooking. There we are. Come on, give it up. <laughs> Creative, talented, and unique, she is an out-of-the-box thinker who will make a great head chef at BLT Steak. Hey, hey.